Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. It get deep. Most I still in the instructions in my sleep. Told me, son, to make it up. You gotta eat. If you're not offended based on how we preach Yeah, I'm sticking to the milk, but it gets deep Once I seal in the instructions in my sleep I can't live by bread alone, I gotta eat I got knowledge, but sometimes I'm rude in speech Yeah, I'm sticking to the milk, but it gets deep Second Peter 315, man, it gets deep Alright, what we got? This is RT.com U.S. hegemony has failed miserably and sanctions amount to crime against humanity iran's president says in fiery u.n address uh oh what is hegemony or hegemony pull it up what is that that ain't a normal you, you, that's word, not normal right? at all so we need to find that thing out all right let's read that hegemony leadership or dominance especially by one country or social group over others. Yeah, if that hey, well, didn't we just read that in Revelations earlier, man? Right. Let's read that thing again. Yes, we did. Let's read it again. Let's read it again. All right. Uh, was it Revelations fourteen last time? Yeah. Yes, sir. The book. Uh -huh. of, the book of Revelations. Well, to tell you what, let's read another one. Um. No, you're right. Read that one. The book of Revelations, chapter fourteen, verse eight. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of wrath of her fornication. All nations. She made, that's going into that dominance right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Revelation 17 and 18 as well. Read that one. Revelation chapter 17, verse 18. Come on. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth. Over the kings of the earth. Which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Read that definition again. Hegemony. Leadership or dominance, especially by one country or social group over others. You see that thing right there? So, yes, Babylon, America, that's you all the way. Let's go back to the article. Iranian President Abraham Rassi condemned U.S. hegemony in the Middle East saying efforts to dominate the region have been a disastrous failure. So, Th I'm sorry, go ahead, continue. And blasting its criminal sanctions on medical supplies during a speech to the UN. Come on. In a pre-recorded speech to the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday, Rasi outlined major Grievances with Washington while laying out a vision for his own country's foreign policy. So what are we seeing? We're seeing the nations uh, starting to get a little bit upset with America calling the shots, right? Read on. Called with the arguing that the world had rejected the U.S. failed hegemonic system. Right. So it says arguing that the world had rejected the U.S. hegemonic system, which is what one country having that dominant power over the other countries. Read. To underscore the point, he cited two major events this year that he said symbolized that failure. Read. This year, two scenes made history. One was on January 6th, when the U.S. Congress was attacked by the people, and two was when the people of Afghanistan were dropped from U.S. planes. Right, so it says the U.S. Congress, this is when uh, that huge insurrection took place. Uh, you remember that when Trump ignited that flame? Yeah, man, he had white people going crazy. Going crazy, <laughs> had them feeling comfortable, yeah. proud about themselves. Yeah. And then it says when the people of Afghanistan were dropped from U.S. planes, to the, they fell from the fell to their death. Yeah, right. Read on. Razi said, referring to the Afghans who fell to their deaths after desperately clinging onto the side of the departing U.S. military plane during a hasty pullout operation last month. So you got to think, you know, you know, as living in America, I'm not going to say we, because I, I ain't, I ain't a, a part of this place. So being here in America, 
you got to understand how majority of the American population looks at it. They're just like, oh, man, this is bad. And that's it. And they stop and they go to McDonald's. Then they go play video games. No, 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 no. Guess Working. Who, yeah. Guess who else saw that? The whole world. Exactly. Every other country saw that. They're like, hold on, wait a second. These, this is supposed to be the leader of the free world? Right. These guys right here? Nah. Nah, I'm not, nah, I'm not feeling that. We're supposed to continue to take the crap from America while they're just going crazy on American soil. Right. Now they're bringing that crap over here. Destroy, give me that um give me that in Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 real quick. Nah, they's like, uh-uh. We getting sick and tired of this thing. Let me get there with you. Give me Revelations 11. The the and book of Revelation. Hold on. Yes, sir. No, no, you right. Read that. Read that. The book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. Come on. And the nations were angry. And that's what we're seeing right here. The nations are getting very upset with America. All right. They're getting angry, getting tired of America's antics. Come on. And thy wrath is come. Uh-huh. And the time of the dead that they should be judged. Read. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the right. prophets. So, you know, when we see these things unfolding, when we see the nations publicly voicing their uh, concerns and unapproval, disapproval of America's antics, understand our salvation is near. Read. And to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great. Come on. And shouldest destroy them which, which destroyed the earth. There it is. America's destroying the earth. They've been doing this since they got over here. They've been doing this since they began to reign with the Greeks, with the Romans. <laughs> they known for that, Cap. Yes, sir. They known as a uh, uh, destroyer of the earth. Every Everything they day. touch, they destroyed. Right. They go in um, uh, taking every bit of the oil out the ground. And if they don't, if that's not enough, they'll go ahead and start uh, uh, digging other people's houses, looking for gold, diamond. All type of resources. They everywhere. You remember that little cartoon they had that had the little man walking and then he was shot a bird and then he, he basically yes, polluted the whole that. earth. They, they were showing their nature in that little cartoon. Um, like you said, Officer Obadiah, everything he touches, he, he destroys. Like when, when he started hunting, animals become endangered, they become extinct. He polluted the water, he polluted the air. He polluted, he, he, he almost killed all the Indians off of this side of the earth. Um, everything he touches, he brings death to. The Bible describes him as death. Right. This man put death in a spray can. You spray, you spray that stuff on a bug, that bug <laughs> dies. This brother is deep. <laughs> Yeah, that was the, <laughs> I didn't even see that oh, coming, man. bro. That's, That's for the true. spray king. <laughs> they, they, they yeah, the devil, damn. Bro. Somebody come and look at this. That, that's why the scriptures say uh, the, uh, that the, even the creatures are waiting for us to get right. Yes. They're tired of this captivity. Man, man, that was oh, deep, man. That was deep, uh, officer. <laughs> that's what he do. The Bible says he's as death. Yes. Can't get enough. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> Give me Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Let's, I pulled the one the, I got and you'll, hopefully you'll find it. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Read. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in the him. The Bible is telling you that, first of all, his soul ain't even right. You look at the scary movies he made, we can't even think of that kind of wicked stuff. His soul is just not right. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Heavy all right. right. Woo! Go ahead. His soul is not upright in him. Read. But the just shall live by his faith. Come on. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine. His wine is his policies, his media. That's what he uses to basically flip the world. Go ahead. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell. Okay, he neither keeps at home. The Bible says he's, he, he, he never home. He got embassies in everybody's land. That's why he just got kicked out of um, Iran. Read. And is as death. What did the Bible call describe him as? And is as death. Everything he touches, he brings death to. Right. All right, and real quick, I'm going to go to Revelation 6 and 8. The book of Revelations, chapter 6, verse 8. All right, and so this is talking about the so-called white man, the pale man. Read. And I look, and behold, a pale horse. A pale horse. All right, and so-called white. Read. And his... And his name that sat on him was death. Say that again. Hold on, is what? <laughs> and his name that sat on him was death. Come on. 
death and, and what followed this man? And hell followed with him. Uh -oh. All right, Damn. everywhere that he goes on the hell and destruction follows on the death read. And power Damn. was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. All right, the fourth part is only talking about on the, this region of the earth. All right, on the North America, Canada, all right, on the Canada, on the Central America, and on the South America, read. Mm -hmm. To kill with the sword. To kill. All right, the white man was blessed on it with the power to kill and murder, read. Right. And with hunger. Uh-huh. And with death. And with what? And with death. Read. And with the beast of the earth. All right, y'all. Um, well, go ahead. Well, I see y'all cooking with fire, so let's bring it all together. Let's go to Isaiah 28 and 15. Bring it all right, let's touch this one real quick. All right, and that's and that's what's wrong with us. When you when you get down, when you lay in bed with this demon, with this devil, what do you expect? What? Yeah, death is coming. Death right. is knocking at your door. Right. right. What you got? The book of Isaiah, chapter twenty eight, verse fifteen. Come on. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, uh -huh. and with hell are we at agreement. When you when you uh, salute that American flag, guess what? You are in agreement with death Ooh. and hell. Bring it out. That's what you're doing. All right. When you when you stand for democracy, when you stand for uh, homos what uh, LGBTQIXYZ, yep. <laughs> when you stand for that, guess what? You are literally saying. That you agree with death. Message. That's what you say. Damn. Now let's get back to uh, what's this? Iran, right? They're showing their disapproval. Give me Revelation thirteen. I'm gonna show this real quick. All right, because this this right here, this right here is the start. Scroll up for me. I got to make sure I'm pronouncing this word correctly. Oh no, it's right there. Hegemonic system. We're gonna show you what the hegemonic system is in the Bible. Give me Revelation chapter thirteen, and I want verse start at verse fifteen. We're gonna read down. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. Come on. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, uh -huh. that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Come on. And he causeth all, both small and great. It says he causeth all. Remember, the hegemonic system is that country that's leading the whole world, all the other countries. Scripture said he causeth all. Come on. Rich and poor, uh -huh. free and bond, Read. to receive a mark in their right hand. That's going into that death and hell, making that agreement with your right hand. Mm -hmm. That's what that's called, talking about right there, read. Or in their foreheads. Or in their foreheads, meaning what? You believe in those demonic ways, those, those ways that's going to bring forth death, right. read. And that no man might buy or sell. Meaning what? They're going to have dominion. They're going to have dominion when it comes to trade. You understand? The traffic, like it says in Ezekiel 28. All right, it says that America, they would be the leaders. They are going to be the ones that's going to call the shots. Now, do me a favor. Scroll up to the top. Come on. Read that. U.S. hegemony was, has failed miserably, and sanctions amount to crime against humanity. Right, sanctions. What are some of those sanctions? Those sanctions are going into those tariffs that they put, or those uh, embargoes that they put on these countries, saying if you don't agree... You understand? In the right hand and in your mind, all right, we are going to put these blocks on you. Right. And now they're speaking up against the mark or the hege hegemonic system. Hegemonic mark of the beast, they're one and the same. And That's guess what? The nations are getting upset. That's this is just the beginning of it. Go to the next article for me. This is Al Jazeera.com. Come on. U.S. House approves $1 billion for Israel's iron iron. Dome after uproar. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, we, Wait just, a minute. Wait. we just read U.S. is acting willy-nilly. Now, out of nowhere, they just dropped $1 billion for an iron dome for Israel. Now, remember when it was that um, hegemonic system, right? Could you go back to the other article? Do me a favor, scroll down. Stop, stop, stop. Not so fast. Let me see both, please. Hold on. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, read the first paragraph. Iranian President Abraham Rassi condemned U.S. hegemony in the Middle East. In where? In the Middle East. Now go to the next article. Read that. U.S. House approves $1 billion for Israel. Where's, where's Israel at that they say, right? Middle That's, East. Right, right, right. So what, what do they call uh, Israel? They call Israel the little United States yep. because that's what they're pushing over there. All right, so now you see what you got U.S. 
funding Israel, dropping $1 billion for their military. Uh, let's read some of this. The U.S. House of Representatives have approved $1 billion in additional funding for Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system after days of controversy around the push. Uh -huh. Legislators passed the bill in a 420 to 9 vote on Thursday, paving the way for a significant increase in U.S. support for the system. All right, so what are we seeing unfold? Give me um, Jeremiah the 50th chapter. All right, so we read in um, Revelations 11 and 18 that the nations are getting angry, all right? And it says, you know, because they get angry, eventually what's going to happen to America? They're going to fall, yeah. all right, by the hand of these other nations. But watch how all of this plays, plays, um, plays together. Read what you got. What verse, Cap? Oh, I'm sorry, verse 40. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 40. Come on. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Right, so that's going into when Babylon or the United States of America is destroyed, it's saying no man is going to dwell here anymore. Mm. Um, read on. Behold, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Right, so the people that's going to come from the north, that's talking about Europe. All right, remember what they just did with Australia last week? How France and Germany, now they're pissed? Yep. That's what that's talking about right there. It says, behold, a people shall come from the north, which is the EU. It says, and a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. We read about Iran, they're getting upset. You understand? Uh, Af Afghanistan, the Taliban is making moves now. So we've seen these other, these other um, what does the scripture say? Many kings being raised up to the coast of the earth. Not just the EU, but all the nations, they're starting to get upset with America. Right. Do me a favor, jump down to verse 45. Verse 45. Come on. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, uh -huh. that he have taken against Babylon. Against Babylon, read. And his purpose, that he have purposed against the land of the Chaldee. Come on. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. It says what? Shall draw them out. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. That We already referenced the least of the flock. It's Israel. All right. When it, they're a small nation, but guess what? Their uh, footprint in the Middle East is big because they're right. what? They're baby America. Right. Scripture saying the least of the flock shall draw them out, meaning what? Israel is going to play an intricate part in bringing America into World War III. Mm. Everything is on the brink. Everything is starting to set up. You understand? All these things, the nations, what, France, Germany, the EU, they're very angry. China's pissed. Iran's pissed. Everything's starting to stir up, just like the Bible said. Read on. Surely he shall make their habitations def desolate with them. Go to the next uh, tab. What we got? Yeah, yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this. So this is, um, read that. Where, where is he speaking at? Russia State Affiliates. This is rtnews.com. As the U.S. president announces relentless diplomacy at the end of the Afghan war, he attempts to name every city and nation that hasn't had U.S. troops on the grounds in just over two minutes. Now, just pay attention. Remember that, um, what was that term again? Go to the, go to the first article. The hegemony. Hegemony. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I forget sometimes. But yeah, that hegemonic system. Now, just listen to what Biden's saying. Remember we read in Revelation 13 about the mark of the beast. Watch this. America's speaking right here. This is President Jim Crow Joe. Y'all know, you know how, who he is. He's speaking on the behalf of all the nations in there. Right. Understand, they, they tight right now, but they ain't saying nothing because it right, ain't right. the time yet. <laughs> but everybody is sick of America. Play it yes. again from the beginning. We all must advocate for women the rights of women and girls so who, who, to use their full talent. Who is he to say that? Right. Who, who is he to call that shot? Why? Because America, they haven't been holding up their end of the bargain. Nope. They going in, they're making reckless decisions. So who gave him that authority? We understand that Satan gave him that seat. We understand it. That's right. Play on. To contribute economically, politically, and socially, and pursue their dreams free of violence and intimidation. From Central America to the Middle East to Africa to Afghanistan, wherever it appears in the world, we almost call out and condemn the targeting and oppression of racial, ethnic, and religious minorities. 
when it occurs in, whether it occurs in Xinjiang or northern Ethiopia or anywhere in the world, we all must defend the rights of LGBTQI. Y'all see that? Y'all see that thing right there? That's that death and hell right there that, it, that the world is in agreement with. That's the fornication that we read about in uh, Revelations. You see that? He's put all Very of that subtle. wickedness. Yes, 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 yes. And they do it speaking like a um, gentle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to persuade you. Trying smooth to make you words. Smooth words. Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm obviously. Yeah, go back a little bit. I want to hear something he just said. Go a little bit farther. Right there. Hit play. Condemn the targeting and oppression of racial, ethnic, and religious minorities. Okay, he said we must condemn the oppression of racial, ethnic, and religious um, minorities. But they just sent horses with whips there you to go. the Haitians. <laughs> there look, you look, go. Look, look, Bring look, it look, out. Very subtle <laughs> he is. They are full yeah. of All these words Come that on, he says, man. and then the word that he really showing what he was referring to about everything they said before was the LGBT. That's what yeah. he was referring to. Right. But he, as far as, he, he, as, they, yeah. as far as saying racial uh, discrimination, um, uh, um, all these things he was referring to, because yeah. obviously, like you just stated, it show you that he doesn't give a damn about uh, the so-called blacks, Hispanics. He said, uh, if Haiti could have sick, um, it wouldn't make a difference. Oh, hey, pull that video. Yeah, he said that. Pull that. Yeah, that Damn is true. demon. If Haiti, a god awful thing to say, if Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or Damn. rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole but lot in terms doesn't... of our. <laughs> hey, look at it, though. Joe telling you, like, yeah, like, we, <laughs> we really don't care about don't exactly care. what he, he said. Don't said. And here you are, you voting for this guy. As iron rusted, so, so shall his wickedness. Like the Bible said, never trust your enemy. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us a spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I do, I see, we deliver the truth.